Hi guys, it's Chris. Um, I am doing a haul video today from a new vendor for me. Um, and I'm trying to be quiet because my daughter's sleeping right next to me. So hopefully I don't wake her up. Um, but this vendor is called Truly Yours Wax. And the owner is Steph Nicole. She's in our Candles Anonymous group. And she was having a sale. Um, I think she's closed. She's going to open it up again in June. Um, so she was only closed for like a couple. Like actually hardly at all. Because when did I order? Let me see. The 24th. So I got right in before the close date. But um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the sale. It was really cool actually. Um, she was doing a like buy two get one free kind of thing and what she did was um, see she had scent shots um, I'm going to show it to you over here scent shots like this they came in a three pack and you buy two of these and you get a third one free now it was from a um, selected um, scent list but still it was really really cool so I ended up getting nine packs and three free so I got yeah so I got nine packs and three free so that was a total of let me see I had it up on my calculator and then I shut it of course I did so three so I got a total of 36 2 ounce scent shots um, so that would be let me say 36 times 2 okay so that would be 72 ounces of wax for about $38 is what I paid so that's amazing to me. That's just absolutely amazing. But I'm going to show you this cute little paper. You can see there. I ha I hand wrote her. She didn't give a card or anything, but that's her shop right there. www.etsy.com slash shop slash truly, T-R-U-L-E-Y, yours, wax. Um, like I said, the owner is Steph Nicole. Super awesome girl. And this is really cute. This little sheet of paper. I'm going to just tell you a little bit what this is about. Um, starting with this sale that she just had. Um, she's doing like a little reward for shopping, which is super, super cool. Um, so for every whole dollar that you spend, not including the shipping, you, <coughs> excuse me, you get bonus points. And it's good for a $10 gift card or code on her Etsy shop. So you weren't so you'll earn one point for every whole dollar. And when you reach a hundred points, you will receive a code for ten dollars to be used at my truly yours wax Etsy shop. Just another way to say thank you and I appreciate your business. So that was really cool. Um so I my purchase came to thirty eight twenty five. So I got thirty eight points. So I'm like more than you know, I'm like a quarter of the way there. Um, and then let's see, what she did, what did she have coming in June? Oh, sorry, something. Whew, I don't know if I got hair in my mouth or what. Says coming next month. Please be sure to shop to stop in next month when my Etsy shop is open to check out my bunt cake tarts. If you enjoy your tart grubbies, which I've never gotten tart grubbies yet. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to order from her again and get some bunt cake tarts and some tart grubbies because I know a lot of people love them um then these will be right up your alley and as all and as always see what the June sale will be so like I said I'm gonna post below her Facebook page and her Etsy shop now just a reminder the Etsy shop is not open right now but it will be opening again in June um 
So, and this is how cool she is. This is really, really, this is really how cool she is. Okay, so the tarts, I mean, the soft tarts, the scent jets came like this. Very nice cello bags with the label here. Truly yours. This one's an amaretto. So not, so each scent shot is not labeled. It's just the bag that's labeled. So she was nice enough because she knows I do these reviews and I do a lot of giveaways. I will be relabeling these scent shots, the top, you know, putting a label on the top of them. Um, because I did buy round labels for um, these two ounce cups. So I will be relabeling each one with Truly Yours and Amaretto. So, you know, I'll be doing three labels for this anyway, for my giveaways. So she know, and I told her I love to do the giveaways. So I asked her if she could please too. Because when stuff is packaged like this, it's really cute. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's very cute. But a lot of the times what I've noticed is that the lids pop off. So I asked her if she would mind... And I know I'm such a pain in the arse. I really, really am. I really try not to be. I apologize. But I asked her if she could tape the lids. And you know what? She did. She taped all the lids for me. How awesome is that? I just think that's so cool. I mean, somebody who has their own business and is like pouring away and everything. I mean, they give a crap about what I have to say or my request. Well, truly yours, Wax, Steph Nicole, she does. She cares. She cares about her customers. So I just thought that was so cool. So I just wanted to show you. I did get two of the Amaretto packages. So I just wanted to show you what it looked like. <clears throat> All wrapped up like that. Because I have cut the other ones open. <laughs> so I could. <clears throat> Here's another Amaretto. So that I could, she did, she taped every single one, but so I could smell it and tell you. Oh, so sweet of her. Just so, 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 so sweet. And she has been a wealth, oh, my lights, she, oh, now I'm gone. Okay, there you go. I'm sorry. I moved my mouse and all of a sudden I don't know what happened. This is the new, the new operating system, the Windows 7 that I have now. I have no idea what's going on half the time with it but um I mean I love it but just anybody who has a new operating system knows that you're so used to the old one um oh this smells so good okay so this is the amaretto and the wax is very very nice you can see here it's nice and smooth I end up with so much wax in my keyboard guys you would not believe it go on focus focus okay whatever it doesn't want to focus but you could see it was it's a nice very nice color the wax is very nice it's not um it's not too hard it's not too soft i'm curious i normally don't with two ounces um which i know actually is i think like 1.7 ounces um the cup itself is two ounces, but I think when you pour it, it's like 1.7 ounces. But anyway, um, I normally just throw this whole thing in my warmer. I know a lot of people cut them up. I don't know how they do that and get any sun thrown, to be honest with you. I'm not really sure, but this on cold is just amazing. Oh, it's really nice. Now, I'm going to go through her scent descriptions on the website because she has on her Facebook scent descriptions um, and they're listed under sort of like under categories but then the categories are not in alphabetical order which I would really like like she has fruits and candies like fruits slash candy and then she has all of them um, I would like to see this a little more organized. Again, stuff, just my OCD going on. That's all. It would just be so much easier, I believe, for me to find if it was alphabetized. If you need help with that, let me know. I'll do it. 
absolutely love doing that kind of stuff. Um, well, let me see if I can find amaretto here. Amaretto, amaretto, amaretto. There it is. Just imagine you opened a jar of maraschino cherries and took a whiff. That's what you will smell in this Irish blend. And it really does, guys. Oh. See, now I had no idea. I'm Italian. Is it oh, it's an Irish blend. Huh. I'm half Irish, half Italian. <laughs> so I should know better. But um, I had no idea that amaretto was cherries like a cherry scent but it is um okay. well i'm not going to go through all these right now as far as putting them back because that would just make way too much noise um okay next we have pink amish friendship bread now Amish friendship bread is one of those. I'm just looking for the. Is one of those scents. That I. It depends on who makes it. Because. If you use too much cinnamon in it. I'm not going to like it. But Amish friendship bread is described as. A smooth combination of sugar. Cinnamon and sugar. Smells like monkey bread. You know that really cool bread that. I, I don't eat, but oh, I'm so hungry, but I don't eat, but that you, you know, you just pull it apart with your hands and it's nice and gooey and you just, oh my God, it's delicious, delicious. So, um, so that's Amish bread. So pink Amish bread she has described as, or I'm sorry, pink friendship bread. Well, this is pink Amish friendship bread, but a blend of pink sugar with the Amish friendship bread. So if you like a little more sugar in your bread, try this one. So, pull out one of these. Oh, sorry, my nose is itchy. I've been dealing, actually I've been dealing, my poor daughter's been dealing with a sick child all day. She had to pick them up from daycare with a stomach bug and when they're three, you know how it's, it's bad. Until they get to the age where they can they know to run to the bathroom, and especially if they're sleeping. Oh, it's just the worst. You know, it wakes them out of a sleep. The poor kid, there's like nothing they can do. Um, so this is pink Amish friendship bread. Oh, and this is so nice. I'm catching mainly pink sugar here, but actually with a mix of cinnamon that works really really well together because like I said I'm not a cinnamon person Ooh, but that is really good I like that a lot I like it a lot and actually I don't think this one was on the list I think she let me try this because she is just a sweetheart um I don't think it was on the list but <clears throat> I think she said I'll throw that in for you Chris Okay, so next we have Fruity Loops. Now, Fruity Loops is, this is under like fruit slash bakery, it says, but it says like, smells just like the popular Fruit Loops, cereal Fruit Loops. But this one has that fruity bakery touch. So, I'm sorry for the sound, you guys. Oh my God, this cell makes the worst. But her colors are very amazing too. We've had like a creamy brown color, like a nice tan, and then a pink. And this one is like a deep, a deep, um, like a deeper pink. I don't know, like almost like a maybe a raspberry color. If you can see it here, it's, it's gonna look, it's gonna look red on my. Uh, on my mind, oh, oh my God. Oh, this smells just like Fruit Loops, guys. This is awesome. I'm not catching the bakery touch. But this, ooh, ooh. This is one of her best sellers, too. She has on the list down here. If you move down. Um, no, 
it's not down here. But this is one of her best sellers, is this Fruity Loops. Oh, and I can see why. I'm going to have to get more of this. This is amazing. Amazing. And then she also has Fruity Pebbles, which is, I guess, more lemony. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to purchase more. But this Fruity Loops is awesome. Awesome. I love the cereals. I really do. I love the cereal blends. They just take me back. Um, they're so great. They're really, really, really great. Okay. And then I got... Toasted Marshmallow. Now, I'm thinking that this one is going to be very light. Um, other toasted marshmallows that I've seen. Let me see if I can find it on here. Oh, okay. This is a great one for you vanilla lovers, a warm, creamy vanilla. So, I'm not a big, huge vanilla person. But what I like to do is, um, if there's a scent that's like way too strong for me, which... There's not many out there. There's really not many out there that are way too strong. Most of them are just not strong enough. Um, I throw vanilla in there or like a toasted marshmallow and, you know, it dilutes it a little bit, gives it a creamier scent. Yeah, this is very nice. It's a very nice vanilla scent. Um, I'm just trying to see if it's... Yeah, it's a very creamy vanilla. I really like it. Like I said, I'm not huge. My boyfriend loves vanilla. Loves, 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 loves vanilla. So I've got to push my glasses up. I look like a granny. Um, hmm. So maybe that's something I could give him one of. Maybe. Or maybe not, because I love, love my giveaways. I have another one going, guys, on one of my other YouTube videos. So please check out my channel and find it. Um, I love to give away. Love, 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 love to give away. So, I have a contest going. Um, here we have Apple Jack and Peel type. Let me see. This is the same color as the Amaretto, I believe. Nope, it's a little darker. Let's see. Apple Jack. Apple Jack and Peel. Oh, okay. A nice apple scent, not too heavy on the spice. Okay, so I didn't look up these scents before I picked them just because there was a limited amount. Um, there was one that I did not get, which was the, it was like a baby powder scent. Oh, can't stand baby powder um, scents. So I did not get that one. Um, that's why I received two of the Amaretto. Um, so I received everything that was on the list, so it wasn't like I checked it, you know, the list to see, oh, do I like it, do I not like it? Because like I said, I figured whatever I wasn't all that fond of, I could just give away in the, um, what you call it? My giveaways. Um, Applejack and Peel, nice apple scent, not too heavy on the spices. It smells like my boyfriend. That's really weird. This really smells like my boyfriend. I don't know why. But that's what it reminds me of. This totally reminds me of my boyfriend. That's weird. Okay. I'll stop saying how weird it is, but it is. It's weird. Okay. So if anybody wants to know what my boyfriend smells like, get Applejack and Peel from Truly Yours, and you will know what my boyfriend smells like. Because that's exactly what he smells like. I don't even know what kind of cologne he uses. I don't even ask him. But this is exactly what he smells like. And like I'm saying, I'm not saying this smells like a cologne. But that's just what he smells like. That could just be his smell. You know what I mean? But this is what he smells like. Um, it's not too apple-y and it's not too spicy. Um, the two fragrances together are a little weird. And I'm a little weirded out, like I said, because it smells just like my boyfriend. It's a little weird to me. But... Um, 
I don't know if this is a set I would order again. Um, that's a iffy for me. Not sure. Okay, next we have Hawaiian. Come on. Hawaiian punch. I love when it just decides whenever it feels like it's going to zoom in. Love it. Hawaiian Punch, I believe this is another one on her bestseller list. And I'm sure this Hawaiian Punch is going to smell like Hawaiian Punch, right? Um, it smells just like the popular fruit juice. Juicy pineapple, cherry, orange, and other fruits make this one a must for the fruit lovers. And then afterwards it says fruit tropical. So, um, and you know what's funny is like I love the fact that she taped these up for me because I asked her, every single one is taped, you guys. Every single one. But now I'm like, as I'm trying to get them off, I'm going, oh, why did I ask her to do that? But like I said, I've received from um you know things, multiples and solo packages before, and the solo, the lids pop off and everything, and it just drives me nuts. My OCD drives me nuts. So this is Hawaiian. Ooh, this is really nice too. If you guys like fruity, <clears throat> excuse me, Fruit Loops is one. If you like cereal kind of scents, this one is straight up fruity. Hawaiian Punch. Oh my God, I'm just remembering like the, um, you know, my mom mixing up the, you know, the little packets and mixing them in the, in the bowls and like, adding like you know just dumping that sugar in there like you know when you're a little kid like oh my god it's no wonder that everybody is obese in america how we used to be fed this is wonderful again wonderful wonderful fruity scent love it straight if you like straight up fruity hawaiian punch go for it awesomeness um, and then I have Mandarin Mango. I'm assuming that's what it's supposed to say. I laugh every time. I shouldn't laugh. It's not, it's not funny. But like every time someone has a label that's misspelled. Mandarin Magoo. Mandarin Mango. Um, I mean, I've done it with some of the stuff that I've re repackaged, and, you know, it's just kind of, it just makes me laugh. It makes me laugh at myself, too, when it happens. Um, let me see. Mandarin. Mandarin. I would think this would be in the... Oh, I'm going to have to go through and do her musks, florals, and cleans, too. <gasps> Since those just look amazing. Mandarin. Why am I not seeing this? Um, hold on. Let me control F it here. Which, for people who don't know is Mandarin I mean, control F is control find um let me see next 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 previous previous no it's not telling it's not telling me what's the deal here I'm seeing pineapple mango um Mandarin oh they have mango mandarin. This is labeled mandarin mango. And this is actually under musks, florals, and cleans. So it says, this is a new scent. It says, okay, if you love that Febreze fat, fresh, clean smell, then this one is for you. Hmm. Huh. Okay. I don't know if I have the right scent here, guys, because that scent description is weird. No, it. Oh my God, that is so funny. I'm like, how would Mando, man, Mandarin Mango smell like Febreze? 
and it's but it so does that is funny oh my god that's so funny it smells just like Febreze like if I put my nose up to it normally if someone you know if she didn't say so that that's what it's supposed to smell like I'd be like I wouldn't know oh this is really nice so this is under the fr musks florals and cleans and it smells like Febreze this is mandarin mango Oh my god, it does. It smells like Febreze. That's hysterical. That is cracking me up. Love it. Love it, love it. I Febreze everything. I, I mean, my house is always, whether it's dirty or not, it smells good. Um, We have four more here. Guys, next we have... There we go. Blueberry muffin. I love it. It's like yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna focus guys, but I'm just gonna focus when I feel like it. Thank you, webcam. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So blueberry muffin. Okay. I'm not smelling muffin. But this is it says, she writes, I really love this all-time favorite blueberry scent. It's a perfect combination of blueberries and warm sugar notes. You know what? The more I smell it, I am getting the bakery. But it's not like an overpowering bakery. It's, it's a, really is a lot more blueberry than the bakery. Ooh, it's really, really nice. It reminds me of um, like when you get a blueberry muffin from Dunkin' Donuts and it's got the little sugar sprinkles on the top. And I always pull that part off first and eat that. Oh my God. The muffin tops. The muffin tops that give you muffin tops. And I actually don't eat muffins anymore. But. Oh, this is really good. Blueberry muffin. Awesome. So on my next giveaway, again, like I said, don't forget, go through. I'm trying to think what vendor it was. Mm -mm -mm. I wanted to point you in the right direction of the contest because it's only going on for another week. Um, it was... With Starlight Channeling, I believe. Um, but I'm doing a contest. And I will be giving away lots of tarts. So, or scent shots or whatever. Um, here we go. Truly yours in Cucumber Melon. Now, I normally do not get melon scents because I am allergic to melon. Um, I love cucumber scents. And I'm just kind of... I'm a little paranoid that if I touch the wax, I could have a reaction of some sort. I'm getting less and less paranoid because, oh, so far it smells really good just from outside and I haven't even opened it yet. I'm getting less and less paranoid, but, you know, that's just my OCD again. This is a really nice, clean, fresh scent. Cucumber melon. Oh, God. It smells so good, you guys. This, on cold throw, guys, these are amazing. Unfortunately, I have not been able to do many hot throw um videos because I am I'm testing out a, a wax for another vendor so I really have to concentrate on that I really that's the stuff that I really have to have in my warmer um and since you have to you know test the fragrance and all that other stuff and throw and how long it lasts and everything it's really really important to um you know, to just be concentrating on that. So I really have not put anything else in my warmer. 
But again, once I start melting, I'm going to do a, you know, like, what did I melt this month kind of thing. So, I'll definitely throw in one of hers. Uh, I, I'll do that probably next month in June. But this is really nice. This is a Bath uh, BBW type. What's that? Bath and Body Works type. Yeah, so it's a, just as a perfect blend of cucumber and melon. Can't go wrong with this one. And you really can't. Like I said, um... It's very, very fresh. It's under her fruits, but it's a very, very fresh scent. Um, two more. We have lemon. Let's go focus. It wants to look at, and I know you guys can read this. It's so annoying because it takes up so much time. Anyway. This is lemon pound cake. Okay, I'm not wasting any more time on my autofocus. Ah, I'm in. Lemon pound cake. Now, I have a feeling I'm going to love this one. I have been really into lemon scents lately. But they can't just be any lemon scent. They have to really have like a nice tang to them. Um, lemon pound cake, because this is a bakery, I'm thinking it's going to be more of like a creamy lemon, which is still really nice. Um, lemon pound cake. Okay. If you've ever baked anything lemon before and enjoyed the smell, then you will love this one. A warm lemon baked confection. This lemon is a true bakery scent. No lemon Lysol smells. Here. That's what it says. I will tell you in a minute. So lemon pound cake. And she's spot on. But you know what? This is an awesome lemon, guys. I was wrong. This gives you a lot of nice lemon, lemon, you know, a lot of nice lemon tang. But you can totally catch the bakery in this. Oh, my God. It smells so good. I could just eat it up. Okay, lemon pound cake is definitely on my list of buy agains. Love it. This is a yay. So far, the only one that I would say would be a no, and I'm not even sure because I have to melt it first, would be the Apple Jack and Peel. Like I said, just because it's kind of freaking me out because it smells exactly like my boyfriend, which is really weird. weird. That is weird. But um, the Apple Jack, not that I'm saying he smells bad. It's just kind of weirding me out. The Apple Jack and Peel is a maybe. And the toasted marshmallow I really like, but I'm not huge on vanillas. So using it as a mixer, absolutely. Because it is a nice, creamy, sugary vanilla. Um, and the last one we have here is our tried and true. Come on. You are going to focus. If it kills me. This is our tried and true. This. I'm focusing this myself. Amish friendship bread. Okay. I don't know why I was doing that. But. So I had read Amish Friendship Bread to you guys before. And like I said, not one of these have I taken out of the package. She's taped every single one. Look, you can see. So sweet on both sides. Steph, I love you. Love you, love you, love you, girl. That is so awesome. Um, so Amish Friendship Bread is... Where is it? It would be in Bakery. Yeah. This is, oh, this was the cinnamon and sugar one that smells like monkey bread. So let's see how this one compares to the pink friendship bread, which was supposed to be more sugary. Amish friendship bread. Yeah, this is definitely less sugary. Um, this is just a nice, basic bakery scent. Um, and I'm not catching a whole lot of cinnamon, which I really like. 
but it just smells like a nice, like a bakery, like a cobbler pie crust scent. It's really nice. Almost like the apple crisp with like without the apple. Just the crisp part. You know what I mean? I don't know what that graham cracker crust kind of smell. Oh, it's really, really good. So like I said, that is what I got, guys. And like I said, so I had, I'm sorry I keep saying like I said. You know, I tell myself all the time, okay, Chris, when you catch yourself saying something, stop saying it so much. Well, you know that the more that you, when you say that to yourself, you're just going to do it more. So that's what's been happening. So I have a lot of labels to make, guys. I have a lot of, oh, a lot of stuff for my goodie giveaways. Love, 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 love. So far in cold throw, like I said. Absolutely love this vendor. The wax is very nice. I'm sorry, I'm just putting these back in the bag in the box because otherwise they'll fall all over me. Um, the wax is really, really nice. Um, like I said, not too hard, not too soft. Um, a lot of times you get the, and I'm saying I'm a lot too now. It's gonna, I'm just gonna keep doing it. A lot of times you get the wax that's like super soft, especially if like they put them in shapes and then they put them in a bag. And when you, by the time you get them, they're like mush. Then you try to take them out of the bag and it's like, you know, you got that smudge like all up, uh, all over the bag or they're super hard. And it's like, like, you know, you get like knock on it. it I don't get it. I don't, I, like I said, I'm not a candle maker or a tart maker, so I have no idea how that goes, but anyway, so I got 70, I think I said it was like 72, I closed my calculator, but it was like 72 to 74 ounces of wax for $38, guys. Amazing. Plus, I got, here's the little chart right here, a little bonus chart, bonus points rewards, please keep free your records, so it says my purchase date, how much I paid, and how many points I got. So as soon as I reach 100, I'll have $10 to spend in the Etsy shop. I mean, you really can't go wrong. If you're going to buy the stuff anyway, to have, which is, this is this is new. That whole system thing right there is really cool. Reward system, that's really neat. I haven't come across that yet, but that's really, really cool. So I really like that again. So I'm going to show you again one more time before we end. This is her Etsy shop. And it just focused, and now it's not going to do it. Anyway, www, of course, I post it below. Etsy.com slash shop, shop slash truly yours wax by Steph Nicole. And Steph, like I said, is in my Candles Anonymous group. Love the girl. It's really cool. Can't wait to find out what her June specials are. So I hope everybody has a wonderful evening. This vendor, like I said, I haven't melted yet, but if she's in my June burn video, I will let you know. But just on cold, two thumbs up stuff. Awesome job. Love you. Mwah. Have a good night, guys.